Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for tuning in. This is Brian from T Sportline. Got our Cybertruck here today, got our wheels. You all have been asking a lot of questions about the Cybertruck wheels and aero covers. So today we're gonna dig right in and give you some of those answers. First of all, the factory wheel and tire right here on the Cybertruck. This is a 285 6520. It's a Goodyear tire. We're gonna show you the front and back side of it, but this is the stock tire in the stock aero cover. The, the factory aero cover just presses on. There's no bolts or fasteners and it pulls right off. The first thing I wanna show though is if you come in close, let's take a look down at the aero cover. The aero cover sticks out from the tire, which is interesting. Normally that would be flush or pulled in so that the tire was proud of the cover. But if you can see that, the, the cover sticks out a little bit and we're gonna measure how far does it stick out. So if we go from the outermost edge of the aero cover right here to the furthest edge of the tire, it's gonna be a little bit of an eyeball measurement here, but I'm gonna say 22 millimeters. So the aero cover sits 22 millimeters at its tallest point from the edge of the tire which I think is kind of interesting. Uh, from an aero perspective, you have you know, the air moving down the side of the truck. So anything on the front of the truck, any of the front area of the truck acts like a wind dam. It's gonna cause resistance and that impacts range. So it's a, it's a curious design from Tesla that that aero cover would stick out a little bit like that. The second thing that's interesting is if you're off-roading and your tire is in the mud, and the tire's spinning, now you have mud or dirt or whatever that can impact this cover and I think potentially make the cover come off. So interesting design there. But like I said, this cover, it's a press on and really just to pull this off, you just give it a pull. So that's the back of the, the factory aero cover. This is two, a two piece design. So the way this works is you've got a, an inner ring, we'll pull this off so you can see. Okay, so you have two pieces here. And the reason they did this is you have a design feature in the tire that's very unique. And that design feature lines up with your aero cover. But if you service your truck and you put new tires on and let's say this spoke feature on the tire lines up different from the spoke on the wheel, all of a sudden your cover would be on like this, no problem, because with the two-part design, you pop this cover on first, and then you can put this cover on clocked properly with the spoke feature on the tire. So this will clamp on to this piece through those rings like this. So this can clamp on in any orientation so that that will allow these things to line up. Okay, that's the basics for the aero cover. Now the wheel, it's a 20 by nine. It's a flow forged wheel. We've got one taken off the tire so we can come over here and weigh some of these parts. So first of all, let's start with the aero cover. The factory aero cover, two piece part. Put that on our scale, check that out. We're showing 4.4 pounds for the factory aero cover. Now the wheel itself, flow forged or flow formed aluminum, 20 by nine. This weighs in at 35.2 pounds. Okay, now that we've covered the stock wheel, let me show you what we've got over here. This is an aftermarket wheel. This is a T-Sport line TCT20. Same exact wheel on, on display here. This is with our aero cover and this is with our aero cover pulled off. So our wheel, the TCT comes with an aero cover, just like a factory wheel, an aero cover. And you can pull, put the aero cover on if you like or pull it off. The difference with our aero cover is ours not only clamps on like a factory, but it has secondary bolts so that you can bolt it on and make sure when you're driving or off-roading that the cover's not likely to pop off. So that's what we've got here. You can see the two different looks. 
uh, depends on what you're after. Take a look down here, come in close and you can see the other difference. Our aero cover is sitting in from the tread of the tire. So the sidewall of the tire sits out and let me grab my calipers here. Our aero cover is sitting in from the edge of the tire and we are opposite of the Tesla factory cover. We are about 21 inches in from the edge of the tire. So sidewall is the furthest thing out. Our aero cover installed is about 22 millimeters, 21 millimeters in from there. Now, you have the option of mounting the Goodyear tire with this spoke design facing out, or we can rotate this tire around and, and put the back side on the front. So it doesn't look bad. We're looking here. I think that this spoke design on the tire still looks decent if that's what you're into, but the back of the tire, it's a little bit dirty here, but this side, these are not directional tires. So you can mount this with this Goodyear side facing out and you can see it looks like a regular Goodyear Wrangler. Let's go ahead and put the stock one back together. I've got the inner ring from the aero cover. I'm gonna line up my spokes. So just grab a spoke here and line it up. And what we're basically doing is lining up these two tabs in between the long skinny spoke. So those two tabs are going up here and double check, make sure I get everything lined up. And then I'm just going to work my way around, pop that in pretty secure. Next, this one. So this outer set of, of tabs is going to line up and clamp onto this. And the center part's going to fit in the hub. So we're going to pull this into place. And now you get an idea how I can line this up for the spoke feature on the tire. I'm going to line that up. And that's it. So we're back in business. Okay guys, thanks for tuning in today. Hopefully this video on the Cybertruck factory wheels and the aftermarket wheels was informative. Leave comments below if you have questions. Thanks again for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe and come back again. We've got a lot more Cybertruck content coming your way.